May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose gifts Blessed Mary Magdalene pre preserved in imitating Christ poor and lowly, grant us through her intercession that faithfully walking in our vocation, we may reach the perfection you have set before us in your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. And I pray that he will bestow on you gifts in keeping with the riches of his glory. May he strengthen you inwardly through the working of his spirit. May Christ dwell in your hearts through faith, and may charity be the root and foundation of your life. Thus, you will be able to grasp fully with all the holy ones the breadth and length and height and depth of Christ's love, and experience this love which surpasses all knowledge so that you may attain to the fullness of God himself. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our responsorial psalm is, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will, I will bless, bless the Lord, Lord at all times. times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I, I will bless, bless the Lord, Lord at, at all times. times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Happy the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said this parable to his disciples. The reign of God can be likened to ten bridesmaids who took their torches and went out to welcome the groom. Five of them were foolish, while the other five were sensible. The foolish ones, in taking their torches, brought no oil along, but the sensible ones took flasks of oil as well as their torches. The groom delayed his coming, so they all began to nod, then to fall asleep. At midnight, someone shouted, the groom is here. Come out and greet him. At the outcry, all the virgins walked up and got their torches ready. The foolish ones said to the sensible, Give us some of your oil. Our torches are going out. But the sensible ones replied, No, there may not be enough for you and us. You had better go to the dealers dealers and buy yourselves some. While they went off to buy it, the groom arrived and the ones who were ready went into the wedding with him. Then the door was barred. Later, the other Bridemaids came back. Master, master, they cried. Open the door for us. But, the, uh, but he answered, I tell you, I do not know you. The moral is, keep your eyes open for you know not the day or the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Mary Magdalene Martinengo, she was born of a noble family of Brescia, Italy, in the year 1687. She entered the monastery of uh, the Capuchin Poor Clares in the year 1705. She was a humble servant and known by her spiritual doctrinal writings as well. She died in the year 1737. The young nun soon distinguished herself by her modesty, patience, 
and cheerful obedience. She dedicated uh, hours for prayer, meditation, and visiting Lord Jesus in the tabernacle for hours. She had sympathy for our suffering Lord Jesus Christ. So, as we know all from the life of Blessed Solanus, he was also sensitive to the poor and to the meditation and the Eucharist. Mary Magdalene Martinengo had a distinguished prayer after receiving the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. She prayed. Let us therefore consecrate to him our hands and feet, our eyes and ears, our mind and our whole heart to be spent only in his service. That will please him and draw down on us great blessings. This is one of the examples of Blessed Solanus in his life. Meditating on the Eucharist and praying on the tabernacle sometimes whole night. And he was also alarmed to put the voice of the poor to listen their voice. The main lesson of today's gospel parable is to show the situation of virgins. Like five, like firefighters, Red Cross, emergency workers, let us have the light in faithfulness and according to our Christian vocation to offer our services with love. In the same way, alert virgins are the good example of having light from their endurance in their service. But those who are sleepy had not chance even to serve the bridegroom in his arrival because of their laziness. The church fathers interpreted the oil as the word of God, where the evangelical virtues can be found. Wise people listen to the word of God with faith, love, and hope. The virgins are young and married girls, bridesmaids who are in the, in the bride's house waiting for the bridegroom arrival. The parable centers on the attitude one should adapt up to the time when the bridegroom comes. That is Jesus Christ, the arrival of Jesus Christ, the second coming of Jesus Christ. Those who are alarmed like uh, wise virgins, they receive Jesus. We should be vigilant to continue our responsibilities because 
the devil is forever after us, following us, tempting us, disturbing us prowling around like a, a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour, says St. Peter in his first letter. So then, what we have to do after listening and accepting our vocation like virgins? So, watch with heart, watch with faith, Watch with love, watch with charity, watch with good works. Make ready the lambs. That is our faith. That is our endurance in our faith. Make sure they do not go out. Make sure that our faith is going down. No, we must be alert in our faith. We must be endured in our faith to receive when the bridegroom arrives. Renew them with the inner oil of upright conscience, then you and me are ready to welcome the bridegroom in our life. So for that, may God bless us and protect us to see the bridegroom with our holiness. Amen. Now rise uh, to present our prayers and petitions to this bridegroom. For our holy church, may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our national and local representatives, May God grant them compassion to see his face in the most vulnerable whom they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, especially those who lack adequate health care, support, or strength of spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For this faith community, both via the live stream and physically present, may God look graciously upon those most in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the faithful who have died, may they enjoy perfect peace and the abundance of God's love with Mary and all the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray also for all the people, those who are asking good favor from Blessed Solanus to intercede for all their intentions. And may God accept their prayers, those who are sending their prayers online and those who present their prayers at the tomb of uh, Blessed Solanus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for all the people, those who died uh, due to this uh, coronavirus. And also we pray for all those who are serving these uh, sick people, doctors, health workers, and social workers. May God protect their life and their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. 
Do you have any other prayers? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. In Thanksgiving, that a Detroit social scene has been relatively calm and peaceful, but also for voices of moderation, that we learn how to live with each other with respect. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we present to you all these prayers and prayers from our hearts and hearts of the church through love, respect, and obedience. In the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Mary Magdalene, we humbly implore your majesty that uh, as her merits uh, are pleasing to you, so too our doubtful uh, service may find favor in your sight through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. And lift you up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on, the, on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks. He gave it to his disciples and saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministers to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Allen, our Archbishop, and all the clergy, religious, and the entire faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Francis, St. Clair, St. Mary Magdalene Martinengo, Blessed Solanus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty and Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the servers command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace by waving our hands. <laughs>
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us healing and everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Solanus would encourage people who couldn't get to Mass or receive communion to ask Jesus to come spiritually into their hearts. He himself did this throughout the day, even when he did celebrate Mass and receive communion. A friend of, him, a friend of his asked him one day how to actually go about doing this. Solanus told him, this is what I say. Lord, please come to me in spiritual communion. Send your body and blood gushing through my veins. Send your love into my heart, my soul, and my mind. Lift me up to your bosom and infuse me with your divine love. Amen. For this year's novena, we thought it would be helpful to have a litany-like prayer to use at this time, which would draw us more deeply and blessed Solana, into Blessed Solanus' life and spirituality. The prayer we'll use now is the result of that endeavor. The invocational part, which I will say, reflects particular aspects of Solanus' life. 
and the response part, which everyone prays after me, are Blessed Solanus's own words. Father, you are holy, the source of all holiness. We praise you, O God, for creating us, bringing us into our families and this beautiful but very fragile planet Earth. Blessed, Blessed be God, God in all of his designs. We praise you, O God, for sending us your own Son, Jesus, to give himself completely to us as our Savior and our brother. Jesus Christ, the lover of our souls. We praise you, O God, for gifting us with faith, for living in us and making us part of the church, the body of Christ on earth. How little we appreciate our incalculable privileges, the blessings of our holy faith. We praise you, O God, for sending your spirit to guide us every step of the way of our journey of life. God is so good, Oh, thank God a million times. We praise you, O oh God, for giving us your own mother to be our mother and protector. Learn to know, Mary, that you may love heaven and heavenly things. We praise you, O oh God, for giving us experiences throughout our lives to let us know your uh, presence and your call. How can we ever thank God enough for his merciful guidance? We praise you, O oh God, for constantly forgiving us when we pay no attention to your guidance and choose sinful paths instead. God's merciful love is above all his works. We praise you, O oh God, for the gift of vocation, single life, marriage, religious life, and priesthood. How sublime are our vocations. We praise you, O God, for the gift of the Eucharist, drawing us again and again into your own sacrificial loving. You give us your body and blood gushing through our veins. We praise you, O God, for the gift of our neighbors, especially those who, like Salonis' parents, are immigrants or refugees, all who are poor and sick and struggling to make ends meet. What a privilege, privilege it is to help one another. We praise you, O oh God, for the gift of sharing your cross with us through the setbacks and hardships. Be, Be grateful to God, God in the present moment, moment or you will frustrate the designs of God. God. We praise you, O oh God, for the loving plan you have for each of us and our living and our dying. I give my soul to Jesus Christ. We praise you, O oh God, for your desire to have each of us with you and the blessed Solanus forever in heaven. We thank God ahead of time. Dear Lord, we, uh, you are so good, so loving to us all. Our Capuchin brother, Blessed Solanus, was filled with gratitude and appreciation for all your gifts and invites us to do the same. Help us to imitate his faith real example so that we and our early world will know the blessings of greater peace greater hope and joy. We ask this, Christ our Lord. Amen. The canonization prayer. O oh God, I adore you, I give myself to you. 
May I, I be, be the person, person you want, want me to be, and may, may your will be done in my life today. I thank you for the gifts you gave to other Solanos. If it is your will, bless us with the canonization of Father Solanus, so that others may imitate and carry on his love for all the poor and suffering of our world, as he joyfully accepted your divine plans. I ask you, according to your will, to hear my prayer for. Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ our, our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be God, God in all his designs. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of these divine gifts, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Blessed Mary Magdalene Martinengo, bearing in our body and de the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now the celebration of this Eucharist is over. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Trusting that in your mercy you have sheltered me, oh shelter me, oh shelter me.